I really like numbers and here I have some numbers for you to have a look at. Now what we have here are numbers to one, two and three significant figures. Now if we have lots of other numbers, people tend to be uh, you know, fairly happy about significant figures, but it's the zeros that cause the real problem. And it's to do with where the zeros are. What we have over here in red are what we call the leading zeros. So these numbers here are before the number that we're talking about and they don't really add anything to the significance. But what we have following this number are the trailing zeros. And it's these trailing zeros which are after maybe a number. Uh, I think I've spelled trailing correctly. I don't know if it's got two L's, but there we go. Now what this means is if you have the number one, just like this, that's just a one significant figure. If you have 1.0, that's to two significant figures, and 1.00 is to three. We can see that as we have more decimal places um, after that uh, figure, then we tend to have more significant figures. So this kind of hopefully makes sense. And you can see that 0 0.100 um, means that we kind of know this number to a greater sort of deal of precision or accuracy than this one. However, what happens if we have the number 10? Well, if we have the number 10, what we still have then is a trailing zero. So there's still a number after this. So the number 10 is written to two significant figures. Equally, if we have the number 100, then just by writing up the number 100, that automatically makes this to three significant figures. So what about a million? By rights, if you write a million like this, that means we've got six uh, trailing zeros. And now what we have is the number one million to seven significant figures. But sometimes you want to display big numbers without that many significant figures. And this is where standard form comes in. So for example, if you want to express uh, a million, you can also write it as one times 10 to the six, or perhaps it could be 1.0 times 10 to the 6, or even 1.00. Now, all of these numbers here represent a million, but by putting it in standard form, we've got the first couple of digits which tell us how precise we know this number, and then the digits, or the numbers over here, tell us the size of it. So, if you've got big numbers, it's good practice to put things in standard form, because standard form not only lets you see the size of the number, but also how many significant figures, and especially uh, if you've got numbers like a million that you've got to give to three significant figures, this is the correct way to do it. So hopefully that will make sense. Significant figures, leading and trailing zeros, um, and now it's just down to you to practice putting this into practice as you do more past papers and more questions as you go through A-level physics.